Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, then my name is Himmel. It's very nice to meet you. And today we're gonna to be speaking about confidence. And we're gonna be speaking about it in the context of how can we be more confident in our ability to be successful. Now, I feel like this is a topic that's incredibly important at this point in time because a lot of us feel like, you know, our ability to be successful has just been stopped by this whole lockdown, by the whole virus and all that. It's almost as if like that's in the way of us being successful. But in spite of that, how can we have the confidence to keep on moving forward and you know what, achieve our goals and our dreams? Well, hopefully the couple of things that I'm going to mention in this video really does help you out. So the first thing I'd like to really mention is we have to recognize that we have been successful in the past before. More often than not, it's when we thought we might not be successful or it's when other people said we might not be successful or, you know, we tried multiple times and initially, you know, weren't successful in the beginning, but eventually we made it. You know, whether it's in a race, whether it's with regards to like, you know, sport, music, drama, right out in high school, in university, in our work, you know, achieving and hitting our KPIs. Like at some point we've failed in the past and we've been successful. So we have to remember and take into account all the things that we've done in the past where we've made it. These are sometimes things that we overlook because we feel like it's not that important or you know, it's, 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 it's not a big deal at all. When in fact, they're actually really important to recognize and actually acknowledge, hey, this is a time when I struggled and I actually made it through. And when you understand that, when you reflect upon it, that can actually raise your confidence. And please keep in mind that these things, they don't have to be big deals, right? They don't have to be you know insanely massive or like really huge goals. They can be really small things. Like the fact that you maybe meditated for seven days in a row when you haven't done that before. Or the fact that you made it through like an online workout without taking a break or stopping halfway through. Like these are things that we feel like, you know, are insignificant. But when we write it down and we see the massive list that of, of but, but when we write it down and we see the massive list of all the things that we've achieved, big and small, then it can really raise our confidence. So I'd highly recommend, if you're someone that's struggling with your confidence at the moment, make sure you grab a piece of paper or a book and list down literally every single thing that you've accomplished, big and small, right? And then truly and genuinely feel it. It could even be that the fact that you tried something new that you've never done before. See, all these things, they all add up. Now, if you're the type of person that's like, you know what, I've got all, I've got all these things listed down, but still, him or still, my confidence, it's not rising. Well, ask yourself this question. Are you a little bit too harsh on yourself? If you compared what you've done to what other people have done, have you done a pretty good job? And if the answer is yes, then good on you. You should be confident and own it. Don't be like, oh, you know, but I, but you know, but I haven't got that job yet. Or I've, I've done I've done a thousand applications, but I still haven't got a job yet. A thousand applications. Can you can you listen to yourself? Right, that's a big deal, and you should genuinely own it, even if you haven't reached your goal yet. See, the thing is, is you need to celebrate all the little steps and all the little wins along the way. So that's the second thing I want to mention. All right, make sure you celebrate all the little wins. All these little things that you do, it's really important. And when you celebrate it, it's almost like giving yourself a pat on the back saying, hey, good job, keep going, you're doing really well so far, don't stop until you make it. And the third thing I'm gonna mention is failure, it's just part of the process. And it's not something that we should necessarily be afraid of and something that we should do whatever it takes to avoid. Because the reality is, is that anyone that's achieved amazing things in this world. They've all at some point stuffed up. They've all at some point failed. They've all at some point lost money. They've all at some point hit roadblocks over and over and over again. But the difference is, is that they didn't stop. They didn't stop until they were successful. Now this guy, uh, he's, he's used a lot, but he's like, he's like the king of failure. In fact, he doesn't even consider himself to have failed. He just considers himself to have just found ways that didn't work. I'm talking about Thomas Edison, who took a thousand and odd tries to finally figure out how to create and make this light bulb work. 
right? An invention that, you know, we take for granted these days. He's the same guy whose factory was going up in flames right in front of his eye. Now, I remember reading an article that his son wrote about how his dad, Thomas Edison, at that point in time, actually asked him to grab his mom and his other relatives to come witness this spectacle because they're probably not gonna see something like this again. That's the view that Thomas Edison had of his life's work. I mean, not that it was a complete waste, but for him, it's, it means a fresh start. It's so that tomorrow he can start anew. And the interesting thing was that as once the fire was over, the next day he started rebuilding and he didn't fire a single one of his employees. Like it takes a lot of guts and a lot of confidence and determination to do that. So are you gonna be like Thomas Edison and you know, if your world is burning, all right, are you, gonna, are you gonna watch it and then think about a plan and think about you know, how this may be a new opportunity for you to start new or completely shift your business or your way of life and then you know, make progress towards newer and bigger and better goals? Are you gonna do that? Or are you gonna stand by, watch it go up in flames and do nothing about it and complain? You always have a choice. Either be consumed by failure and do nothing about it or in spite of your fear anyway, try. I want you to try and do something that you've been putting off for the past couple of months, couple of years, or even the past couple of weeks. I want you to try something that you said that you were gonna do, but you stopped doing it either because you were afraid of what people think or because you don't know if you were gonna be successful or not. Like literally after this video, I want you to start writing down all your past successes so you can build your confidence. And then I want you to write down that goal of yours that you said that you were going to achieve, that you've been putting off. And I want you to start making steps and moving towards it. See, the thing is, is if you don't try, you will 110% fail. But if you do try, you might fail or you just might be successful. I'll see you in the next video.